Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful beaded ring only out of 11 or 10 seed beads. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and I have a bracelet tutorial matching this ring and I'll link it here at the eye icon and you could also see short review of this video down there in description. It is only 2-3 minutes and in this way you will decide whether you feel like making it or not. I'm posting those short previews on my second channel. Uh, that is called Visuteo Fast Clip. By the way, you chose the name. I gave you a poll and you chose the name. Okay, so you could check it out and down there in description you will find the full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this ring project are three colors of 11 oz seed beads and you could use 10 oz seed beads if you want. And here I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use 0 0.14 or 0 0.16, it doesn't matter that much. And you could use fire line or other beading thread of your choice. Uh, but I don't recommend using nylon thread because it's too soft and your ring won't look really good. And this is size 10 beading needle, scissors and these are pliers and now if you want to make the, the ring with one piece of thread just take an arm span of thread and if you want to do it in two halves and add more thread and I'm showing in a lot of my tutorials how to do this just start with half an arm span. Now I will do this the whole thing with uh, one thread with an arm span of thread and now I will take it and I'll be Okay guys, and now I'm going to take 12 beads, 6 golden and 6 black, and I'm going to alternate them like this. Okay guys, and now I have 12 beads on my needle. You could pause this video and take them at this sequence. And we will continue. Okay, I'm sliding those down. And I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a loop and then go twice through the loop I've made and pull. And now I have surgeon's knot or half hitch knot. And I make one more knot just to be sure that everything is nice, tight and secure. And in my next step my goal is to exit through one of my black beads. And here what I want to take are two goldens, one red and two golden beads. Okay, this is what I have here on my needle. Two goldens, one red, two goldens. And I will go back through this black one here. And I pull. Okay, now I have this. Okay, then I go through the next golden and through the following black. And as I'm exiting from this black one, what I want to take are two goldens, one red and two golden beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back through this black one here. And I pull. Now I have this, then my goal is to exit out of the next black one, okay, and I want the same thing here. And if you can, in one movement, go directly through the following black, okay, and I will repeat this three more times.
okay now i have this and as i'm exiting from this black one what i want to do next is go through the following two golden beads and now guys i prefer to flip my work because it's as i'm right-handed it's easier for me to work in this direction then i go through this red one and what i want to take is a red a black and a red okay this is what i have and i go back through this red one okay okay now i have this then I'm going through the following golden. Okay. And I want to take one black and go through the next golden that is just under this red one that's sticking out the most. Okay. I'm going through this red. Take a red a black and a red okay and go back through this red in circle then go through the following golden here and take just one black bead and go through the next golden okay then of course through the red and again a red a black and a red go here and if you can in one movement you could also go through the golden take one black and in one movement go through the golden and through the following red in this way you save time but if it's difficult for you just do it one by one Okay, now I have this and I'm going here. Okay, guys, and I will do this off camera until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding this black bead. And what I want to do is exit through this red one here. And now in this step, I'm adding three red beads and I'm going here through this red one, just like this. Then I go through the following two and I exit through this red one here at the edge. And then, guys, I need three more red beads, just like this. And I go in this direction. And see, when I pull, this bead pops up from this side. And I want it popping up from this side. And I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay, I'm exiting out of this bead. And I'm taking three red beads and I go through this one and through the following golden and pull and this one pops up from this side. Okay, and I will continue this and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do next is go through all of those beads in this direction in my next flower. I go through those top three beads that I added last in my last row. Okay, and I will start my next row from here. Okay. You see, now I'm exiting between those two side beads. And what I want to take here is a golden, a black and a golden. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I will go here between those two red beads at one side of my work. Okay, now I have this. 
then I go one, two, three beads away from where I added those three. And I take a golden, a black and a golden. Okay, this is what I have. And I go between those two side red beads. Okay. Then through the following two, because I want to exit through this between those two beads at one side. Then I take three again the same way and I go between those two side red beads. Okay. And now I'm going to finish this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do next as I'm exiting through this go, uh, red bead that's at the edge that's sticking out the most, I take two golden beads and I go through this golden and through the following black and golden. Okay, now I have this. Then guys, what I want to do is take two more goldens and as I'm exiting from this golden, I skip the next red one and go through the following that's at the edge. Then I take two goldens and I go through the following golden. And if you want to save time, go through the following three beads aiming from for the next golden. Okay. Then I take two more goldens go here at this bead that's sticking out the most and then I take two more goldens and go through those three beads. Okay, I think you get the idea. Finish this until the end. If you don't remember how I'm doing this, rewind, do this and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding here my last two beads from this row. And now I will go through all of those goldens, exit out of the black, and I will be aiming to go through the next three goldens here at the edge. And I will add just one golden bead, just like that. Okay, then I'm going through the next three beads and take one golden, go through the following three. Then I'm up to my next flower, go through this one, take just one bead, go here. Okay guys, and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you how to start your ring band. Okay guys, and now I'm adding my last bead from this row. And my flower is ready. You could make this an earring, a bracelet. I have a link for a bracelet. And what I want to do next is reach this black bead here. And in order to do this, I will go one bead in this direction. In my next step, I'm going through these three beads. And I'm exiting at this black bead here. And I want to go through it. Okay, and now I will go at the back of my ring. And how I know it's the back? Because my beads are popping up from this side, as I told you in the beginning. Okay, guys, and now as I'm exiting from this black bead in this direction, you see my thread is here. And what I want to take are three black beads, one golden. And three more black beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I will go through my next black bead. Okay. Now I have this and in this way, I'm building the basis of my ring. 
okay and in my next step i'm going to take three blacks one golden and three black beads okay this is what i have and i will go here through the following black just like that okay go through this black not through the inner one at the same row okay now i have this and i'm going to add three more black beads one golden and three more black beads okay this is what i have and i'm going through this black here that's on my way at the same row okay guys now i'm going to finish this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last sixth beads of this row sixth loop of beads of this row i'm going here you see through the very first bead that i was exiting out of and when i do this i have these six loops of beads that are sticking out from my work and you see where i am where my thread is here between the first and the last one and now what i want to do is go through these three beads and exit out of this golden here in this direction now i am here i'm exiting out of this golden and what i want to take are three red beads and i will go through the following golden and when i pull i have this you see then i will take three more red beads and what I do is that I go through this golden and pull. Okay, and I have this. Then I turn in this direction. I take three more red beads and I go through the following golden. Okay three of my triangles are connected and i'm going to continue guys with this three in this direction and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and i'm here guys between this golden and the last golden of this row and i'm adding it here okay and now guys you see what i have i have the basis of my ring ready and i'm going to reinforce it okay reinforce it two or three times and now I'm here exiting out of these three uh, red beads and what I want to take are three black beads, three red beads and then again three black beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle and I will go back in circle through these three beads and now you see what I have. Okay now this is what i have guys and what i want to do next is go through these three black beads in this direction okay and i'm going to take one golden go through these three pull then again take one golden go through this tree and pull and when i pull i have these beautiful angles formed here 
Okay, I'm going then through these three beads. Through these three black beads as well. Okay. And then I exit through these three red ones. Okay, and as I'm exiting from these three red beads, I'm going to take three black beads. Then I'm going to take three reds and three more black beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And what I do is that I go back in circle through these three red beads. Okay, and I pull. Then I go through these three. Take one golden bead, go through the following three, like this. Take one golden, go through these three, and here I like to go also through the golden, through the previous golden. Then I turn my work in this direction and I want to go through these three red beads. Then what I would like to do is go through the golden here after the reds and pull in this direction. Okay, then again, my goal is to exit out of these three beads. Okay, guys, and now I will repeat this step and this step until the end uh, of this ring band. And when I have ring band that's long enough, I will be back to tell you how to finish your ring. Okay, guys, and now I have nine components here and uh, I will make the tenth one and connect it to the other part of my ring. Okay, now for this uh, step, I need to go through these three red beads and then I will go here at the other side of my ring and uh, how I know it's exactly the opposite side, I count one through uh, one, two of those three beads and here I am where I need to connect it. I need to take three black beads. Okay, as I'm exiting from this red, I'm taking three blacks. And I'm going through these three red beads. Okay, three blacks and exiting out of the three reds, I'm going through the next three blacks. Okay, here I'm connecting. That is why I'm adding three blacks and then three more blacks to connect my reds, okay? Then I go here through these first three reds that I've been through. And when I pull, I have my last component done. And now I would like to go from this side of my golden, from the upper side. And then I pull and I will reinforce this work one more time, going here, then back through this tree, back through the golden, and then from this side of this golden. From the upper side, I want the loop to be from this side. Okay, and now guys, it's time to find a place and make a knot. You could do this here at the ring band or you could come here not to be that much visible. Whatever you decide, now I'm here and I'll show you. I'm making a loop and I'm going once. Then I'm going a second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And I could repeat this knot several more, more times. And when I'm ready, 
I'm going through the following seed bead and cut my thread, never cut next to a knot, always go through the following seed bead. And this is how this ring looks like. Okay. And I'll put it here on my middle finger. Okay, guys, so if you like what I'm doing here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. And uh, you could also subscribe for my second channel where I show fast previews of all of my projects and you could decide whether you feel like making them or not just to save you time. So if you like this idea subscribe and down there in description you will find the full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. You could also like, share and comment to help me and you could share your work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page that you could find find down there in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from